Welcome to our next video about Antalya. Today, we will discover together the old town of Antalya the historic city center Kalaichi. The old town was used as a marine residential area through many civilizations such as Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine, Seljuk, Principalities and Ottomans. Every place you step in is full of history. In the early Hellenistic period, the old town was named Adalia after Atalos L the king of Pergamo dominated the area in the 2nd century BC. Kalaichi was a wealthy port city enclosed by thick walls. Place of many historic monuments, wooden houses with bay windows in a maze of narrow, winding streets. We will start our trip with Yavas Austin Park with very lovely view of the sea and the harbor. Here, you can enjoy small waterfall which is hidden in the cave of a rocky cliff seashore. Antalya cliffs are about 40 meters higher than the sea level. They stretch from Kanyal Diversion in the south of the city to Lara Beach for 20 kilometers. Many different tours are organized from the yacht, harbor, such as Duden Park, Felesler and Kanyal. There are hourly or daily tours and it is possible to find a boat that sails almost every hour of the day. For a unique adventure you can take a submarine tour. You can go down to a depth of 35 meters with the Nemo Primero submarine. This tour takes 60 minutes and will take you to the Saint Didier shipwreck and many underwater life wonders. Now, we will take you to Gullick Street, which is one of the most famous place for shopping. Local souvenirs, jewelry, clothing, shoes, antiques, carpets, and foodstuffs, all of this can be found on the street. Tofani Park is a beautifully located tea garden. In the Ottoman period, this area was used as an arsenal and private garden of the Sultan. The fluted minaret, which is the symbol of Antalya, is a Seljuk artifact belonging to 12th century.
Jestem w otoczeniu kochanej rodziny. Czuję się cudownie. Pozdrawiam wszystkich, wszystkich znajomych, krewnych. I... Ja, jeszcze raz, jeszcze raz. I jeszcze raz? Nie. Co mam powiedzieć? Co mam? Jeszcze... Nie powiem kazanku jeszcze, jeszcze raz. Tego za pewno byłoby mi ciężko. Serdecznie Ej, tutaj, Tata mówi. Cześć, ja Hasan. się wysilam, a Hasan Tata. Jest. Jeszcze raz. Teraz patrzę sobie na stare miasto w Antalii, popijając Ayran. I czuję się jak młody Bóg. Słońce mi przygrzewa głowę. Mam wrażenie, że to jest lipiec w Polsce. A my jesteśmy w październiku. Niebo błękitne. Patrzę na port. Stary, pokaż port, Hasan. Port? Pokaż. O, teraz Hasan pokazuje. A co jest w górę? Na górę? O. Góry, Sąd, góry w słońcu, pod słońce, ale pięknie. There are many beautiful restaurants and cafes in the port where you can sit and enjoy the sea view. Skeel Mosque with wooden cylindrical minaret is one of the smallest mosques in Antalya. Ketchily Park is a small park located on the cliff slope. From here you can watch the Mermerly Beach, the marina, and see with tourist mountains at distance. Here, on the glass terrace you can watch the cliffs from under your feet as a bird's eye view. This park has many sitting areas, beautifully covered, with ivy and bougainvillea flowers. Most of the houses in Italia's old town date back to the 18th and 19th centuries. However, there are also buildings from the Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman eras. Many of these traditional buildings, which lie in the narrow, cobblestone streets have been converted into restaurants, stores and boutique hotels. They have nicely landscaped courtyards and offer fantastic views of the harbor and the city.
The floors of the old houses are covered with pebble mosaics. There is something for everyone inside Kalaichi, history lovers will enjoy the Hidalic Tower Lighthouse. It is said that the tower, whose height is 14 meters, was built in the 2nd century. There is no entrance inside the tower, you can only, observe it from outside. Next to the tower there is one of the most beautiful, park in Antalya, which is called Karaoglan Park. park, where people come, rest and watch the Mediterranean Sea in lush pine and palm trees. The park has many viewing terraces, cafes, and restaurants, where you can drink tea from Samovar. Luna Garden Bistro Cafe and Restaurant is a place where you can sit outdoor, surrounded by many trees, plants and flowers. This beautiful setup really make you feel like you are in the garden. Hadrian's Gate is known as the Three Gates, due to its three arched entrance. It was built during the peace process of Rome, and it was the most important entrance in exit point of Adelia. This gate separates the old town from the modern city. The city walls have a history going back to the second century BC, more than 2000 years. When the city came under Seljuk domination in 1207, a series of inner walls were added to the city walls. It is known that there were more than 60 towers on the walls with short gaps between them. Significant part of the walls, whose completion and repairing continued until the mid-19th century, fell before the 1920s. The final demolition of the walls was in the mid-1940s. Only few of the outer, inner and curtain walls remained until today. Today, you can enjoy the spectacular view on the modern marina and the Taurus Mountains.
In the old town of Antalya, you can find one souvenir, store after another. Antiques, paintings, porcelain, glass, and high-quality carpets are also sold here. It seems as if time has stopped here. Don't forget to haggle. It is allowed and even expected here. The merchants enjoy it as much as the customers. With a glass of Turkish tea, the trade goes even better. Tekelai Mehmet Pasha Mosque is one of the oldest mosques in Antalya, was built in the 1600s and it is located near the clock tower. We hope that you have enjoyed our short trip to Antalya Old Town. We wish you a good day and see you next time inshallah. Know that the life of this world is only play and amusement, pomp and mutual boasting among you, and rivalry in respect of wealth and children. It is as the likeness of vegetation after rain, there of the growth is pleasing to the tillers. Afterwards it dries up and you see it turning yellow. Then it becomes straw. But in the hereafter there is a severe torment for the disbelievers evildoers and there is forgiveness from Allah and his good pleasure for the believers good doers and the life of this world is only a deceiving enjoyment 5720